<laughs> Stupid goat. <laughs> I'm a world-class hunter, guys. I don't need no bow. I don't need no sword. I just need a club to bash him in the head when I watch it. They don't see me hiding in the... Oh, that was the wrong thing. God damn it. Nice work there, champ. Well, the G is right next to the F. It sure is. It sure is. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Where is the little son of a bitch that said that? So then, looks like we have to build ourselves another Master uh -oh. of Unboxing. Did it open it up? I popped it. You popped the cherry. What? What's inside? What's inside? I Dobie. don't know. Dobie and I are running. We're like, what's inside the, the present? Free stuff. I got free stuffs. It's a research sample. Oh. That Wait. was it. All that work just for that? <laughs> We're all like kids at Christmas. Heck yeah. You see it? You see us being dubs just booking it to get over there? <laughs> We're like, what's, what's inside? I'm back. I got myself a nice black cherry cider. You both died? No. No, not at all. Why would you insinuate some, such a thing? It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dick. <laughs> oh, man. It oh, was yeah. too perfect not to do that. You can't sleep at this time. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Slap me in the screw, boy. Here we go. Oh, shit. Jesus. Our entire base just went underwater. That's why I moved. Jeez, and Pete's. Where else was I extracting shit from? Over here, right? Yep. Extracting from over here. Is it done already? Uh, let's see if it's done already. It is done already. Nice. Oh, another one. Another one? It's just... It's like herpes, just the, the gift that keeps on giving. I promise locks. Locks? Where are locks? Uh, giant, giant... Imagine, uh... Dobie's mom with a fur coat. Oh, God! <laughs> Furling! You know, with friends like us, who needs enemies? Uh. Thank you so much, Tragic Onion, for the gifted subs and the 25 tips. $25 in tips. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, shoot! Woo. I killed him by shooting him in the foot! Good, good <laughs> shoot, Tex. <laughs> you call me tits? Tex. No. <laughs> I say, of yeah. the two of us, you got the tits. That's not very nice. Your character. True. Killing girl. My wife, uh... What the heck was that? Oh, this is the song you requested. What the fuck are we listening to? <laughs> I'm curious about the video here. Is it just, uh, 
in the guy's face. Yeah, it is. <laughs> sounds like tragic. Sounds like me when I get hit in the nuts is what it sounds like. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I think I've had more fun at the proctologist. Are you really not enjoying this game? No, it's it's okay. It's just stressful. I don't like hearing Toby yell at me. <laughs> Whatever. I know you <laughs> like it. Especially because I know I deserve it. Hello world, and thanks for stopping by to watch this stream. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday, tantalizing Tuesday. Whatever Tuesday you want to call it, it's a Tuesday. It is December 26, 2023. 9.02 p.m. Hiya be, hiya be everyone. I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday weekend. You got everything you wanted, hopefully, or uh, you had some nice chill time, some nice, uh, or some some great time with family and friends, all that fun stuff. Whatever it is, I hope it was a great holiday weekend for you. Uh, let's see uh, tonight's plans. Tonight's plans. Uh, Dobes and I will be playing uh, some kind of cooperative game. Not sure what it is gonna be yet, just yet. But that's the plans for tonight. Uh, Tal and Tragic are out for the night. Hal's dealing with house stuff and tragic. Uh, he's got another pickle stuck up his butt or something. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> um, there's that. Uh, no stream. No stream this coming uh, Sunday. And maybe, maybe no stream on January 16th. Not quite sure yet. Just depends on what time I get back into town that day. So there's that. Uh, what else we got for you? Ooh, we're a little behind on these guys. Uh, let's see. How is how is Christmas like your job? You do all the work, and the fat guy in the suit gets all the credit. That's very true. That guy in the suit gets all the credit for all your hard work. <laughs> Why does Miley Cyrus eat? Oh, sorry. What? What does Miley Cyrus eat for Christmas dinner? Roast twerky. Roast twerky. Does she still do all that weird bullshit of sticking her tongue out and wearing hardly anything up on stage? She's trying to pull the whole Lady Gaga thing. This one get us cut out cover for today. How much did the pirates new earrings cost him? A buck and an ear. A buck and an ear. Well, a buck and an ear. Okay. Oh, anywho, there's that. Um, let's go and get Dobes on the line here so we can add to the commentary. All that stuff. Hi, hi, hi. Howdy. How's it going, Dobes? How was your holidays? All I've got to say is that Always time for lube. There's always time for lube. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that'll come through on here. There's always time <laughs> for lube. <laughs> that just sounds sounds what? Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> that was the old intention. <laughs> oh, did that come through on the, the text message? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Tonight's poll question. Tonight's poll question is, what's the, uh, what's the best thing you ate over the holiday weekend? And the second question is, what... When does you or your family normally take down holiday decorations? So what was the best thing you ate over the week, uh, the holiday? There, Dobes. Uh, we had a pretty epic charcuterie board. 
I don't think I've ever had an epic charcuterie. What, what's on an epic charcuteries? Uh, well, lots of like different meats, different crackers, uh, cheeses. Uh, typical charcuterie. So better. So not your just standard like salami and and cheddar cheese kind of thing, right? You guys have some nicer meats and stuff on there. Yep. So. Nice. And then, and then I don't put up holiday decorations, so it doesn't matter to me. Neither do my fam does my family really, so we don't really put them up or take them down. So I guess uh, one does family normally take down decorations. Well, uh, we don't. I say never because you guys never put them up. My uh, my my mother. She would take down the majority of the holiday decorations, but she'd leave a couple things up here and there, like the things that the kids really liked, like the grandchildren really liked. Like one thing she had was this, uh, as soon as you came into their, their living room through the back door, they had this bear that was holding a little ball, and then you flip the switch, and the ball started floating in the air. And so the kids always loved playing with that. Um, so, yeah, she she would take down... Most of the holidays are recognition except for things like that. And then today we actually we actually put away all of our holiday decorations today, which I was surprised because um, I thought it was going to take all day, but it didn't. So there's that. Ooh, for the holiday, I did get uh, some refills for my bean boozles. This is sixth generation, so this is going to include. Uh, Liver and onions and old bandage. So we're gonna top off. Oh shit! God damn it! Get on. Spill my beans. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna top off my little container here with uh, the sixth generation, and then we'll also throw in some more spicy ones too. I don't know how many spicy ones are left in there. So I'll grab a small handful. I should probably grab a few more than that. There we go. Throw those in there for good measure. Okay, so we're all set for that. Hopefully they don't spill all over the place. Anything, uh, any good gifts this year? There, Dobes. Uh, eh. I don't know. Cash. Cash. That's always a good thing to get. So. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, I got a few board games. So. Nice. What about so you? Anything great? Uh, let's see. Um, well, I've been playing with the same mouse for like 15 years. And so my wife got me, uh, a G502, which is still in this package. I haven't taken it out yet. I haven't had the chance to take it out yet. Um, I think I had one of these before, but it was refurbished. And so it like broke on me after like a month of using. So this one's not refurbished though. So... And then um, I got some Bluetooth earbuds, which I'm going to try and switch over to those for streaming instead of these big bulky uh, headphones. Let's see how well that works off, out, off, jerk off, whatever. And uh, there's the Bean Boozled's. And uh, oh, my wife restocked my, my shot box. So as we were talking about on on, uh, on text, I don't know if that's a, a good sign of a relationship or an enabling relationship. <laughs> One of the two. One of the two, right? Ooh, another thing I got, which I'll, try, I'll drink one a little bit later. But she got me a couple different like green apple drinks. 
this one's a crown royal. She also got me a Jack Daniels one. The Jack Daniels one was more of like a like a seltzer like, and I didn't care for that one. But this one is pretty good, so I'll drink that one a little bit later near the end of the stream. Nice. Yeah. Kids are kids are loving the uh, the switch. They're taking turns. That's a good thing. They're um. I'm going to have to get some different uh, joy cons because the one, the cheap ones I got from Walmart, the one I was playing with, uh, yesterday, uh, started doing the, the weird drifting thing where the, the little joystick would stick to one side. Sure. Make excuses. I was kicking their ass until it started doing that. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. That's what they all say. Even, even with that, I was still doing pretty good. Except for the last one where uh, you can fall off, of, fall off of the map or whatever it's called, the, the track. We're playing Mario Kart. And then, uh, oh, I also, we tried also doing uh, Smash Brothers, but that's kind of hard to play when your guy keeps trying to run off to the left side. Well, this sucks. So I'll have to order some new ones, send those back. I also am going to have to get uh, one of those super controllers or something for myself because trying to do Mario Kart on those little tiny little Joy-Cons start cramping them up my hands. Because I got these massive fucking long fingers, right? And so trying to like hold something like this was fucking uh, cramping up my hands. I'd say suck it up. Deal it. Suck it up. <laughs> suck it up to my Get get, <laughs> get carpal tunnel in my in my fingers and, and joints and stuff from trying to hold it like this. Yep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, e, uh, Ace is we just well they're they're cheap they're cheap uh, Joy Cons but yeah we just got them uh, never used took them out of the package had them in on the the thing uh, use them for the first time uh, Christmas by the afternoon of of uh, switched on Christmas Day. And I got stuck with the one that kept uh, doing the drifting thing. Sucks. But they, they were, like I said, they were cheap. I got them for like 26 bucks, I think. So that's probably why they, they suck is because they're so freaking cheap. Back in my day, Nintendo made things that would last longer than three generations. I know, right? Fuck, the original NES, even the Super Nintendo. Those, still think, those things still last a lifetime. I'm sure that my uh, stepdad still has our Super Nintendo sitting around somewhere in a box. I bet you I could take it out of the box, plug it in, and start playing one of the games right away. You still have any year old uh, Nintendo consoles there, Dobes? I do not, but I very well could have a Raspberry Pi that has a bunch of stuff, but neither going to confirm nor deny <laughs> that. <laughs> we it's did. It's up in the air. Yeah. We did. Uh, we did. We uh, did. Buy on Black Friday one of those uh, Nintendo subscription things. So I'm excited to use that to get access to some old S uh, Super Nintendo games. And and uh, uh, my wife did bring up mentioned uh, Tetris, so I'm going to try and get a hold of that so she can play that. One of the few games that my wife enjoys playing is Tetris. What about you, Ace? What's the best uh, thing you ate over the, the holiday weekend? And when does your family normally take down holiday decorations? Are you going to make a comment about the game that my wife likes to play? No? Okay. <laughs> uh what are we playing tonight dobes entirely up to you i am good with uh whatever we could do some more goat simulator we could do uh power wash simulator uh completely up to you in that regard so have you played power wash simulator i've beaten it are you beating it oh i've not played it before so It'd be more of you teaching me how to play it if we played that one. I mean, you point a, a power wash and you power wash it. It's, it's really difficult, man. It's good how, to say. How would it work with multiplayer, though? 
Uh, you take the. Go ahead. Yeah. And I wanted you, some of the stuff's pretty fucking boring. So. Oh. Well, let's do some. But I mean, I have it installed. So. Well, let's. So let's, we could give it a try. Let's give it a try. I heard people enjoy the game, I've heard. But if it's too boring, like if it's uh -oh. so slow. Did I lose you? Oh, I thought I lost you. Oh, I'm I'm showing up in the 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 my live thing is showing up. Did you lose your your network connection there, Dobes? My internet did. Well, he's still there. He just can't hear us. Do 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 do. Ooh, I also found uh, the old jar of cherries, too. So people can uh, make me eat cherries, too, if they want. Instead of taking shots. Right about that. And we do have storms going through the area right now, so maybe that's what happened, is he lost connection from that or something can you not hear me now nope i hear you now i heard you earlier actually i heard you earlier but you just couldn't hear me yeah i don't know uh co-op hosting once a let me get it started here Okay, accept. Uh, accept that. Signing in, syncing data. <laughs> this looks similar to, uh, is this by Bethesda? Because it looked like the same loading screen as Bethesda. Nope. It's not the same developers. I accept, oh, I, just, I have to scroll down to the bottom to accept. Gosh, how many things things do I have to accept? What? Back to the future? Yeah, I think you might have to buy them. I haven't looked yet. All right, let me... Uh, let's see. Yeah, purchase and download. Oh, for those Ooh. maps? Yeah. Sad Panda. Main menu. How do we... So you go to career. Uh, oh, let me probably make sense if you're a host. Yeah, let me so you can change in. Uh, let me change my categories here. Power wash. Simulate the word. Be prepared to get completely bombarded with people. Really? Yeah, this is a, a really popular game. Oh, I lost a <laughs> I lost a follower on on Kick. Darn. Are you being were you being sarcastic about it being a popular game? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I've seen lots of people playing it, but also it's been like big streamers though. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll draw some people in. So with two people, it should go a lot quicker in some of the stuff. So. Oh, that's why I didn't change was on the YouTube side. Hey, Udo, I gotta change the category over here from people in vlogs to gaming. Power wash and simulator. Power wash and simulator. Oh, there's a 2021 and 2022 version? I had no idea. I don't know either. We'll just do that one. See what that does for us. This hat makes my head itch. It's like it's tickling some of the hairs on the top of my head. I should probably take it off here soon. Okay, so now I got that going. I'm bringing it up on screen so you can see what I'm doing here. So you said go to careers. Put under here. There we go. Career. Okay, and then yep. oh, co-op. How do I? I can't start play. career. Start career. Okay. Once the job is started, co-op hosting will be available. 
Oh, I see. Oh, once the gentleman started. Okay, okay, okay. And you got to clean the van. So that's the first one, probably for everyone. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great news! Finally found a van for you at the auction under your budget. <laughs> Details. So we're just gonna wash. Oh, so we get money for like per thing we wash on the thing. Yep. Messages. All right. And so I have to actually start the job, right? And then you can come join me. Yep. Oh, shows me the controls. Okay. Whip. Rotate nozzle. Select nozzles. Use washel, toggle washel. Switch nozzle, rotating. Okay. Oh, there's space. There's actually jumping and aiming. It's weird that that's yep. aiming. Okay, right, so now how do uh, I get you'll Hit escape. You get the game. All right. Uh, friend only. Uh, allow another player to join and assist your career. This can be turned off at any time. Okay. Oh, I already turned... Okay, so it was already turned on. I accidentally turned it off. Oh, oh I had it right. Sorry. I keep fucking up. Co-op is on. Oh. It is on now. Why can't I select friend only now? I got it. Bye. Right. I'm coming in. Okay, you're coming all over it. Console's easier. Or not console, but, uh... What should we call it? Uh, controller. So, now you just... Start to power wash the van. Clean it. So, uh. I'm noisy. I have to turn that down here in a minute. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it down. I'll wait. Where's the. Right, under here. Options. Audio. Water volume. Turn that f fuck down. Reverb mixer? What the fuck's a reverb mixer? Alright, I think that should be good, right? So, there yep. we go. Uh, so there's different styles of uh, nozzles as well. That you can pick. Do different intensity, but will be, oh, you geez. know, the higher the intensity, the less uh, power you'll have. And the closer you are to something, the more you'll uh, clean the grime off, but the less you'll probably clean. So. Alright, I got is currently receiving. Oh, it's still working. That's weird. Okay. Alright, alright. And then we can rotate the noozle. Yep. Go horizontal, and then you can also uh, be aware that sometimes you have to get low. To How low clean, can you go? Clean certain things. So, and then we'll have to get on the roof to clean this damn thing too. They don't give us a. Oh, there's a stepping stool right here. Yep. Pick that up or you can jump up. Oh, you can get like, there's like three levels of crouching. Okay, I see. Oh, it shows you down the lower right corner. Ha ha ha! Nice and clean! Like the fact that, uh,. It already has our sticker on it. It's completely fucking filthy. I know, right? And they just bought it. So I was like, how do you get the sticker on there? Oh. Hi, for Sean. There's a removal van outside my neighbors. We're finally going... I'm going to just... That's weird. You'll be able to read their messages after you uh, get done, too. Okay. As you clean stuff, you'll get various messages. Uh, there's a cat that you're supposed to find, too. A kitty cat? Uh, yeah. Meow, meow, meow. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Does that do anything when I spray you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you, are you on a keyboard or a controller? Uh, keyboard and mouse. So you can't feel... I'll feel the vibration in it. No. Yeah. Hey, 
at Chipotle today and the clock is coming back up a little bit. <laughs> so. With some burps or like uh, out the ass? Burps. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that happen with guacamole before. Well, it also doesn't help that I'm having an energy drink. So oh. it's kind of a grape and avocado type flavor. <laughs> That's an interesting combination. It's kind of pleasant, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Not a bad flavor. So. Grape and avocado. That's an interesting combination. You think it's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Oh, I cleaned it. Down here. Just about right there. Window's pretty filthy. This is body. Okay, to do is bumpers oh. and mirrors. I got the bumper. I and got the. the... Right on the bottom. Nope, I guess not. Maybe on the top. Maybe I made it. There we go. There you go. We got a nice shiny fan. We get it. Shiny. Is all done? Yeah. So what do we do now? There's a no. Is it... We're done. So you can open the tablet, and I don't know if uh, you, you can just pick another job or. How you pick a, how do you open the tablet? Um uh, hit escape. Oh there we go. Oh have a little preview of us doing it, okay. That's nice. Yep, we can see how we cleaned it. Look how fucking filthy it was. Yeah, it was fucking dirty. That was fucking dirty. Hey, we have hundred and fifty dollars for that. Right click the continue yeah. button. Okay. I got twelve dollars for that. <laughs> you got twelve dollars of that. <laughs> Clean the back, yep. uh, the back garden. So that's our next mission. Looks yep. like. So click that. Uh, hey Doc, I have. Uh, I hope you like a challenge because why are they calling us Doc? We're not doctors. I have no idea. Good question. The doctor of the power washing. I guess so. All right, here we go. Oh no! I was carrying a gnome! Ooh, I forgot about this one. Uh, so. Bunch of shit to clean in. This is gonna take a while. Yep. Like I said, this game is, uh. Turn on a podcast and go at it. <laughs> you know, when we power washed our, our fence at our old house, that's kind of what I did, but it was audiobooks. I just uh, put the earbuds in and uh, listen to the listen to audiobooks. I do like though. Uh, if you look, I think you uh, create the footprints on the you walk across them. Oh, yeah, maybe you don't. Uh, yeah, mine mine showing footprints. I really wish I could use my uh, super high-end washer. So, assuming the narrow the nozzle, the, the higher more the power. pressure. Yep. Some things don't require as much to clean others. So, and then if you notice when you get something done, it kind of ah, highlights. There we go. So. And with the fences, there might be multiple little crevices type stuff that you have to. Because I think the posts are one thing and the panels are there. So. I'm surprised the grass isn't like go blowing away when we shoot the grass. Yeah, there's a lot of things in the physics of this game that don't. 
gonna say that right now. <laughs> I like how we're wearing hazmat suits. Well, wouldn't you? Oh. This is a pretty disgusting job. That's true. Cleaning the doghouse. Uh, the other thing to kind of be aware of, too, and I kind of already boobarred it, but uh, there are writings on occasion underneath the dirt if you use a lower setting. There's a what? Um, like graffiti type stuff. Oh. I guess maybe not on the doghouse, but as we get later on in the levels... Um, there's a bunch of writings and different things, different, yeah. That's higher levels, I think. So, you'll be able to wipe the dirt off, but you won't be able to wipe off the key all the time. So you need a different power washer for that? Uh, well, yeah, the different power washer. Fact, sir. Yeah. Power wash the fans off. Washy, 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 wash. Modify. Uh, let's see. Clean the path. There we go. I think that yep. guy's done. That guy's done. Oh. That says he's done. That's done. That's done. Alright. You should do the doghouse already. Uh, ooh, what's this? Pond! Dirty old pond. How does people go through their house get so fucking dirty? I find it interesting that this whole backyard so fucking filthy that you look at the side of the house, the house is fine. How does it yeah. even work? Someone already power washed that house. So they, they hired someone to power wash the house, but not the rest of the yard, huh? Yep. Yeah. That's that's what it's got to be. That's what I would think it would be. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. That or these people are just that filthy rich that they're like, well... Um, our house looked dirty, so we had that clean, but we didn't care about the backyard until we walked out on it. And then we decided, yeah, we need to get that. Clean. Until our uh, until our family started coming over, because we're shut-ins. Now that we have family coming over, we can't uh, have them go in our filthy backyard. Yeah. Well, if the backyard is this filthy, what's their inside like? Exactly. Can only imagine. Now, what I will tell you though is, uh, as we progress in this, you'll find out that we're on an island, and on that said island is a volcano. Oh. Henceforth, why everything kind of has a, a grayish hat or kind of a disgusting. Is yeah. the the, uh, the the volcano spewing out shit all the time, huh? Yep. Yeah. Volcanoes always causing problems. What up? You do bikes? I could do with some running there over that. Power wash a bicycle, huh? Must be one fucking dirty bicycle. Yeah. Or is it a sport bike? Motorcycle. Oh, Maybe it's a motorcycle. Didn't specify. It was a bicycle or a, mo or a motorcycle? Sounds like an opening to a porno. 
That's, that's hey, true. Hey, babe. Do you, do you wash bikes? <laughs> I don't know where the uh, where the clip was at that I saw, but it looked like a beginning of a porno where they're like, "Oh, what are we what are we filming tonight, guys?" The birth of Jesus. And there's this lady in this like sexy donkey outfit and wow. uh, a midget wrapped up in a blanket, and he's like, "And I am baby Jesus." <laughs> Baby Jesus has got a big dong for being so short. <laughs> Sorry, nice. I probably just took it too far. <laughs> well, I see now. So this is like weird build up here. This. Yeah, so you'll stuff. have to kind of either use a hotter brush or kind of keep it, uh, keep it on there for just a little bit. Filthy. There's like some chemical buildup here. Alright, let's go green. Let's see a missing spot in the liner. There, there we go. Okay, liner's done. You know, this crap of the... This mold or whatever it is. Rust, maybe? Algae? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't want to come off very easily. Whatever it is, it's fucking disgusting. The reason why we have the hazmat suits, man. <laughs> You're saying you would do this without the hazmats, but I don't know, man. Oh, this is this is pretty gross. But uh, I, I like how uh, I'm cleaning the floor, and the floor doesn't get dirty when we uh, go onto the fences that we'll go onto. Like I said, some of the physics of this game does not doesn't add up. Uh, doesn't add up because you know, as you're power washing shit, the water goes. Um, downward with dirt. Yeah, you usually start up and work your way down, right? Yeah. I have to go to the... over here. Do, 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 do. Fucking filthy man. What a fucking volcano is it? Does it just have shit spraying out of it? Like literal shit spraying out all the time? Is uh, like a, yeah. Is it like a? It's like attached to their septic system, the sewer system. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that's uh, that'd be pretty disgusting. Like, as soon as it so, fills up, it just sprays the, the, the its contents into the atmosphere. I was perusing through Reddit, and the guy had pictures, and was saying that uh, his brother-in-law's neighbor decided to dig and hit the sewer line the oh, day no. before Christmas. Oh, no. Overflowing into the street. And I was like, fuck, would you be digging close to Yeah, it's like, why? Uh, yeah. Why, dude? But, well, maybe he was actually preparing for, you know, family being over and it. But still. Like, oh, I got a clog. I'm going to dig. I don't think that was the case, though. I have no idea why the guy was. Maybe hiding his gold before his family got over there. Sounds about right. So. I'm laying in the filth. I'm laying in this filth. No way to get to this lower crap. I probably have hazmat suits on because this stuff is toxic. It's probably like radioactive or something. Uh, it is uh, volcanic ash, so I'm sure there's like pumice or I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's shit to it.
I guess I'll continue doing the, the damn floor here. I hate these really big ones. It takes forever. <laughs> Well, I should say really big areas. I don't mind the little ones, but the really big area is just kind of... Now, the, the funnier thing is, based off of the percentage of what's clean, so on the bigger ones, um, what you'll see is that as you get closer, you'll still have spots, and then uh, it'll just say, oh, yeah, it's done. <laughs> but then the other thing that, that's kind of crappy is because it's done by the percentage, there might be areas where it looks like it's clean, but it's not clean. And uh, so on some of these larger areas, you might be sitting there going, where the fuck is it not clean? Oh, jeez. Um, the good thing is, if you didn't know it, there is a button. And I don't know what it is on the keypad to kind of show you where the dirt is. Oh, it, highlights it. it highlights it orange. Oh. I should probably find what that one is. Once we uh, <clears throat> get to the harder stuff. All I know is on the controller is the left, uh, or right pad. So, it saved my ass a few times when I was cleaning. So. I wonder if I should switch to the, <clears throat> to save my wrist, I wonder if I should switch to the controller. So my wrist is starting to hurt a little bit. Well, and if you, uh, uh, there's also an auto spray button as well, so that you don't have to continually hold down the button. So. Uh... If you switch to the controller, I'll know exactly what it is. You can look it up in the setting, too. And I just remembered about the auto spray, so um, that's saving my uh, index finger. Let's see. Power washer. Aim. Oh, there. I forgot there's aim. Pick up. Show dirt, select toggle washer. Use washer. Yeah, that's what it is. Is oh, it's it's uh, it's right mouse button. makes it a little bit easier. Yep. See where the dirt is? Oh, sorry, I didn't look up that key. I looked up the, the uh, auto washer where it just continually sprays for me. You're good. There we go. Wall is now done. Pond wall is done. Liner. So, Dubs, you think uh, January 19th would work for you to do a community game night? I already said I was in. You did? Oh, sorry. Yep. Who was it that didn't say it then? I was... Right, Tal. Right, Tal, okay. Well, and Tragic also did not, get, did not give me a clear answer. He was talking about showing nipples or something. Yeah, if he's going to show nipples, that means... Man. All right. <laughs> You should know this by now. That's true. Maybe I didn't give you a clear answer. Uh, I can always go back and look yeah. later. It's a week later, I tell you now, so. Oh, the week after? Yeah. Do some traveling during that week? Probably. Work excursion. Work. Great trip to Denver. I can't say anything about that, so. You said something about Denver? Yep, free trip. Oh, free trip to Denver. Yep. You can't I'll get say... to eat. You see, you can't say anything about it? Can't say anything bad about it, I mean. Oh, bad about it, yeah. 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 You get a free trip to Denver, 
food. Probably some buy some stuff while you're there. I won't buy anything. Oh. Everything will be paid for, so I think we're going bowling team, so which I'm not as thrilled about, but whatever. No, bowling can be fun, depending <laughs> on who you're playing with. It can be, but it's not my forte. So. Bowling's not your thing, huh? No, give me top golf, laser tag. Uh, oh, yeah, laser tag. Something I haven't yeah. done for a long time. We don't even have a laser tag place here in, in our city anymore. Yeah, we do. We do? Yep. Is it like a true laser tag, or is it just like a... Like true a laser where, tag. So, okay, so it's not like a... So it's like a place that's dedicated to laser tag. Yep. Oh, I didn't know we still had one of those here. Google it. I'm gonna have to. I would tell you where it's at, but it might give our location. Okay, so... I'll Google it. Your kids might thank me. It's my thank you. <laughs> At least the oldest kids, maybe. Yeah. The youngest kid struggles with the uh, the Switch game stuff. But I did get her the uh, the Untitled Goose game, and she loves that one. Did you uh, get Super Mario Odyssey? I have not gotten that one yet, no. The reason why I say that is that's a great one to give to... Uh, so... Uh, The second player controls the hat, and the hat doesn't really do anything. And so it's a great one to give to a little one, just to, uh, ooh, I'm doing something, even though they're really not. Does that make sense? So, oh, yeah. Although that game's still expensive, so. And it will always be probably expensive. This is Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo hardly ever... Um... Reduces their pricing, right? No, they do not. Well, I'm going to have to double check, because when I got the Mario Kart, I did get that through Groupon for a discounted price. Nice. Hey, Dev, how you be? How you be? What's new? What's happening? I've been debating about getting out, but... Debating about getting what? Debating about getting out my Switch, so... I got the new Zelda game to play, and then I have another bump. About. So you don't always have your Switch just set up? It's set up. I just... Whether or not I want to play it, uh, that's the thing. So. I mean, when there's games as exciting as Power Wash Simulator, <laughs> I mean, why yeah. would I want to play anything else? Why would I want to play anything else? <laughs> You did play uh, the Binding of Isaac for how many hours? Way too. Many. <laughs> Although some of those hours were because I fell asleep and it was still running in the background. So, <laughs> but I mean, I think at one point I can't. Remember, I think I was at forty or fifty thousand worth of cell games too. So, on one of my machines, Jeez. Kyle used to bitch about me. So. I know, Dev. Power Wash Simulator. I figured to give it a try it since is, it's uh, multiplayer. It's it up so satisfying. Place. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not getting that satisfaction out of it as I thought I was going to get out of it. it doesn't, it's not completely the same compared to doing like real life power washing. It's the engine. You're not liking seeing how things get clean. Well, I am, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna look up that. Maybe control. I'm just taking all the fun jobs. I'm cleaning a, a mower over here. That's not what I wanted. I want uh, options, controls. Okay, stance mode. Jump right forward. Oh, there's soap. I don't know there was soap in the game. Yeah, you have to buy it. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. Show dirt. That's gonna be the tab key. Oh, there we go. Tab. Where's the dirt on this guy? Is that the dirt? How do I order a tab? There we go. I think the mower's done now. Oh, oh. So what's new, Dev? How are things going for you? You have a good holiday weekend? Ooh, did you eat anything good over the holiday weekend? Let's see, let's go ahead and switch to the wider one. We were just talking about uh, Nintendo Switch playing. Dev, I do have to order some new Joy-Cons because the cheap ones I got from Walmart are you doing the drifting? Wait, it keeps telling him it's, uh, he's using that as an excuse for why his kids. Yep, I'm using an excuse for why my kids keep kicking my ass in the game. Even though, even though I have that handicap, I'm still beating their ass in the game. <laughs> Except for the, the maps of Mario Kart where you can fall off the uh, track easily. The one that really did me in was the one with the, the smashing blocks that fall down. And so I can't I can't turn enough to get away from them. Where you have to make like sharp turns. I couldn't do that either because I was constantly going to left. Huh? Keep making excuses. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how competitive you are. I am pretty competitive <laughs> when it comes to, to games for some reason. You know, I'm not usually a competitive person. Eh, just know that one day your kids will beat you, and so rake it in while you can. That's true. That's what That's I would true. say. Plus damn kids. Damn kids. <laughs> Windows done, nothing's done. Cleaning the barbecue. Becomes really shiny. Well, my eldest kind of pissed me off Christmas morning. They got done opening all their gifts and they got more than they needed. And uh, got them the Switch and a, a good portion of what they were asking for. And she goes, where's my, where, where's my camera at? I wanted a camera. You fucking serious kid, you want me to take all these other gifts back? No. Kids. Ungrateful little shits. <laughs> and I kinda of remember doing that when I was younger too. Yeah, I guess. I gave my nephew uh well, I should just say my nephew got a total of $150 in Xbox uh, gift cards. Oh, jeez. And within 10 minutes, he had it all spent. Within 10 minutes? Yep. Goodness gracious. He used to probably had some games he was really wanting, huh? I don't know. I didn't ask him what he bought. I'm a bad uncle. And you also get accessories with that stuff? Yeah, he could have, but he didn't. He bought all digital games. So, I think he was talking about buying the new Call of Duty, which I'm like, yeah, you're stupid, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so Good fucking money, kid. Yeah. <laughs> so. I can't say anything. I've made stupider purchases. So. Like that furry outfit? I'm talking about tragic now. Oh, yeah. Never bought in a furry outfit. That's right. That was tragic. <laughs> so. 
It took me a while to, to kind of pick up on what that uh, that text was referring to, that Reddit post you added about uh, how does it make you feel that these two characters live in the same universe. And the one person replied with horny. He's like, why would that make them horny? And then it took me a while. Like, oh, because they're a furry lover. Yeah. They're a furry. Okay, I guess that makes sense now. I like the, the last response to that. That is not the right answer. <laughs> Surprised I didn't say you're in the wrong the wrong group for that. <laughs> it's not I don't know. There's a lot of Shrek porn out there, so it does not surprise me. Really? As in, like, like people wearing Shrek costumes or, like, digital? Like, people using computers? As in both. As in both, oh my gosh. Why? Why I Shrek? Were, I thought you were the one telling me that you had a DJ friend that dressed up as Shrek and he got a bunch of... He got laid because of it. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. So. But yeah, there's a whole fetish community over Shrek. I think it's the whole dad... Odd di dad bod and dad joke type thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. So if I ever am really desperate and become single, I can just go grab myself a, a Shrek suit and go walk around. Sure. Sure. Just remember <laughs> to stay 500 feet away from school. <laughs> Sir, why is your ear hanging out the front? Oh, that is not an ear. <laughs> Sir, we're going to have to ask you to back away. <laughs> <laughs> Man, someone really took a shit on the couch. <laughs> it really had to go. I mean, it was brown in the middle where the would sit. So, I don't know. This game's kind of disgusting on occasion. On occasion? It seems like a lot of the time with what we're having to clean up. But kick on, we could be millionaires. That's true. If we could do this for a living. We just need, like, a hundred people to do it for us and basically pay them less than minimum wage. And we'll be millionaires. I don't know if I could live with myself. Maybe I could. Let's see, isn't there a, a ladder somewhere around here? There it is. How do I pick it up? Uh, after All I know is that it's down. What's down? The down D-pad. Get up. There you go. Okay. I use the controller and so. I do. I can jump fucking high. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna use your. Oh. <laughs> Try to get down now, motherfucker. Well, I can get down. It's my ever trying to get back up. I don't have the blue pill to help me with that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> or so you say. Maybe you ran out. I mean, you did have to perform the Christmas miracle yesterday. I did. So. Is that what's called the Christmas miracle or the Christmas magic? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, well, you can perform either one. I think both of them take a lot of uh, Viagra. <laughs> I think you're right, it's probably Christmas. I wasn't even close to being done, but okay, it's done. Oh, we got this little car like left. I, It'll be beep. Like I said, sometimes it randomly will be like, oh yeah, you're done, and it doesn't feel like 
see a bunch of shit. And then other times you'll be like, where the fuck is it? I don't see anything. Uh -huh. But it still says I'm not done. And you're like... Switch my nozzle. Be more powerful. Oh, what are we missing? Uh, there's a bunch of shit right in here. There we go, I got that. Doesn't it usually tell us? Like, give us a little, like, countdown thing saying, hey, we still have this to do. Well, that's if you're down to the last three. If you uh, go into the tablet, uh -huh. uh, it'll tell you what still needs to get done. So there's seven of 12 stepping stones. Uh, water bowl. So I did not clean the water bowl at the dog thing. So let me clean that. Stepping stones. Yeah. So I think that would be these guys right here. Yep. Okay. And then... Nope. 99%. I got two more stepping stones. We work on that. I'm going to look at the other list here. Uh, pond rims. One of two. Right up here. I got this. Okay. Oh, here we go. Fence uh, tops and gas supply. I they want you to get in there. Can you even? Oh, there we go. All right, gas supply is done, and top of the fence. Interesting, why wouldn't let me place it there? Clean. So, oh, maybe that fence over there? Oh, it's fence top. I'm seeing this one over here is still dirty. Oop! Oh, maybe you have to do. Here we go, it's down here. There we go. Oh, stupid. <laughs> Look at how dirty that place was. Now it's all super clean. I didn't realize there's a bird flying around. Yeah. But it's like it's following. Falling. There's a bird following us? I think it is. That's a little weird. It is. There's also a shop, by the way. So you have 600 bucks now in the upper right-hand corner and buy better power washers and stuff like that. Let's see. Clothing. Equipment. Get knitted out with attachments and accessories to help complete your jobs. Uh, a range of washers from small home units to industrial power washers. I want a new washer. Yeah, I'd probably look at the power washer, see if you can buy the next. Can't remember if it's five hundred or uh a thousand. Uh medium is nine hundred. Light right. well, duty is is that what we're currently on is light duty? Yeah, we have the light duty one. Uh oh we have different nozzles. So this is owned. We can buy different nozzles for it though. Uh, yep. What's this thing? Soaping nozzle, long extension. Um, 
zero degree nozzle that increases the area of effect while maintaining maximum pressure. Should we buy that one for fifteen dollars? Uh, I'd probably wait because it's all okay. So it's all based on the type of uh, power washer you have. So for uh, each one of these, you have to buy um, for each one of them. So so I have to. Okay. Uh, and that's kind of similar to the cleaning liquid. So, in order to use cleaning liquid, you have to have the soap nozzle, and each one has a different soap nozzle. So there's no point so, in wing. There's no point in buying anything just yet. Yeah. How do I get? I'd probably oh. wait till I didn't know if it was what the cost was. So. I guess there's something more. Because I don't see it. All right. So um, we can't get medium until we get nine hundred dollars. And there's also a little star with a fifteen. What's that mean? Oh, we have to be 15 stars, so we are currently... 10? I don't know. I don't know. We're currently I 10. have 190. Yeah, you have 10, so... Uh, probably one more thing would be... Be able to get you there. So... Okay. So... Probably... But we're going to continue this. Yep. Uh, so do you want to clean a bugalo? Do you want to clean a playground? Or do you want to clean the dirt bike? Dirt bike will dirt get bike. us... Dirt bike's what? Dirt bike's the quickest. Let's get that one done. Uh, get you some extra money. And I guess you can see the stars there, so... With the top of the line uh, power washer, this thing gets done in like no time. Kind of funny. Oh, both of us doing it too. That probably gets going a little faster. Let's double banging it. Uh, yep, that's what she said. Double banging it, baby. Double banging it. Damn you! You hit me with it. What? What? Ooh, vibrates <laughs> my controller. <laughs> Putting your crotch. Pretty damn close to my crotch, man. Don't don't tempt me. <laughs> I had an ex who put her uh, cell phone in her crotch as she was driving. <laughs> no twice. Thankfully, she didn't crash. I I take it so. Yeah, she never crashed so. But, uh, yeah. She always enjoyed it when I called her when she was on her way home. <laughs> hey, what are we missing? Right here. So, rear <laughs> fender and sprocket. What the fuck's a sprocket? That's... This, this would be the sprocket, I think. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's the, uh, the brake thing. My back. Yeah. All right, that one's done. Easy 75 bucks. There's no bird in this one following us around. What? There was a bird. Did you see that? Hold on. Is there a way for me to pause it? Oh, that's not a bird. That's, uh... What is that? It... <laughs> it's like another power washing hand. That's weird. That's extremely sure. fucking weird. Let, let me share my uh, share my screen real quick <laughs> with you on Discord, and you can see it there. Of uh, let's see, watch stream. Oh yeah, what the fuck? It's like hands. See that? That's that's just a little weird. Yeah. And then from mine, it was shown back here behind you. Yeah. And you see something sticking up your butt right here on the screen. <laughs> it's weird. That was a bird, but nope. Okay, so which one should we do next? Uh, the playground takes a while. The bungalow is quicker. All right, we'll do bungalow. Not, not as that. Yeah. 
It's, it's still going to take a while, but not as long as the playground. Yeah, playground is pretty massive area. Bungalow is not as bad. Nope. Something's playground something's might be funner, but because you get a slide and stuff, but playground has a lot more uh, area to clean. Oh geez, this thing looks like it was on fire. To get the is condemned. Should have been Should condemned. Be, man. Who the hell was their outside of their house? Get... Well, first off, how the fuck does an outside of a house get this bad? Yeah. So. Exactly, I... right? Maybe we just don't live in the right climate. Maybe, I uh. Guess. Maybe this I mean, is like I know... a very, uh. Maybe it's very moist environment. Moist. Moist, 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 moist. moist. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably get in trouble. So. We just violated a hundred Twitch thing. I guess I can take my clothes off and let my, my nipples hang out or something. I think you have to have a black bar now. So. I know they rescinded that, right? Right, I think they rescinded that. They, yeah, they did something different with it, yeah. Like, within, so. like, a week of them saying, oh, yeah, nudity is an artistic thing, and then they took it back within that week or something. Eh, fortunately, the United States is pretty prudish. So. Yep. Yeah. Of course, though, uh, I also think, you know, which is probably not the right platform for that. You know, there's other platforms out there for that kind of thing. So yeah, that's what I don't get either. It's like there's there's plenty of platforms specifically for that kind of stuff. Yeah. We talked about one platform a number of times. Have we? Uh, huh. OnlyFans. Oh yeah. I guess that is one. I wasn't even thinking of OnlyFans. Oh. There's also Kick, which is a little bit less stringy, uh, less strict than uh, Twitch. Still. Yeah, there's a bunch of sites out there, people. Yeah. Go another, ahead and Google them. Another thing Find I don't understand is why is why are people willing to like pay money to watch the nudity and stuff when you can go to like you porn and and all that stuff and Pornhub and see it for free. Some right? people are just I don't know. Some people have no game. There's no game. You don't even need game to go watch it for free on Pornhub. <laughs> Valid point. Well, you could also go to a bar and go see live porn, too. And create your own porn, but... That's true. But that, one, that one requires game. Yes. That one does require game. There's a lot of women out there that want some loving. I'll just say that. So... You don't even have to go to a bar for that, right? Yeah, there's there's apps now for that. All right. We were uh, we were watching um, last night. Gay we were watch, watching. Uh, <laughs> did you say gay porn? What was that? No, we were watching uh, only murders in the building or something like that. Whatever that uh, Hulu show is with Rick Martin, Ricky Martin, whatever his name is, okay. and. The commercials, like, over half the commercials were, like, for dating apps of, like, different, uh, different yeah. ethnicities. It's like, why are we being shown dating app commercials? Interesting. Yeah, I was like, that's a, they're, they're, uh, their demographics are a little off here. 
Is it just dating apps for Latinos? Let me just Google it. And, uh, yeah. and, uh, uh, yeah, they're all types of different ethnicities. Like, when we're married, and two, none of these dating apps pertain to us. Because we're privileged white people. <laughs> you gotta ask yourself, uh, that point are you watching the right content right because now they're they're forcing you into that demographic that's true maybe so. the uh the show that we were watching was more into i don't think so it, it's it's of i don't know it's two old white men trying to solve a murder in the building oh so you're one of those couples that like the murder point Murder porn. <laughs> you know, we uh we kinda like the uh the um the praying mantis porn, you know, where the chick chicks uh fuck the dudes yeah. and then they, they bite off their heads. Or stabs off their heads, cut off their heads, there we cut off their heads. Probably not even something to joke about, dude. <laughs> too far? Did I hit you too far? <laughs> Just slightly, maybe. Just trying to make sure you don't get in trouble with your wife. <laughs> but, you know, I don't... I'm not kink-shaming by any, any means, either, so... More power to you, <laughs> <laughs> well, I did get her the uh, gloom free glitter the other day for our Christmas magic position. I didn't even know they made glitter free or gluten free <laughs> glitter. <laughs> don't you, uh, don't you eat your glitter? I'm right, gonna have this auto. How am I supposed to get back in there? Very carefully. Very carefully. I'm like trying to. Oh, there we go. Did I get it? No, you got that one. Yeah. This parts of the post. Cleaning a window. Porch fence. Okay, well, can't get to that spot. You guys don't let me get that far back. Oh, there we go. Never mind. That worked. Yeah, sometimes if you're just close to it, it cleans it as well, so. Are you above me? Sounds like someone's, like, walking. Are you on the roof? No. I am walking up and down the ladder. Oh, so maybe walking. that's weird. So, I don't mean to be walking up the ladder, but it's... So. Fact. Come on. There you go. Oh, there's a ladder. The ladder. Actually, are you... Do you see me? You're in the backyard, but yeah. are you in the I don't see you. Are you in the no. front? I'm in the okay. front. Okay. So we're dividing and conquering, man. I don't I don't I don't power wash on another man's uh uh job. I don't know how to put it. You don't uh you don't you know, we don't, uh, here's where you're, uh, you never cross the streams. Thank oh, you. yeah. <laughs> never cross the streams. I haven't crossed. I feel like someone smeared this entire house with poo. That's what it kind of feels like, yeah. It's like, 
how do you have that much time to take to like smear it? that much poo all over the place? Well, I know in South Park, you don't want to sound insensitive and you just hire a bunch of uh, illegal immigrants. Oh, jeez. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh, man. At least that's what Cartman did when he smeared butter at his parents' house. <laughs> Do you have them all take shits in buckets and then use their own shit to smear it? Nope, he had specialty swaths shit. So. So what? Swaths who what? Swaths. Like paint swaths. I don't know. Smear the shit? Yeah, for different colors. You know, he's like, oh, the, the living room, I think, would look great in a uh, this type of shit. And I, I think the bedroom would be... But where did he get all the shit from, though? That's my question. I don't know. International house of shit? <laughs> and I'm sure there's people that'll sell you shit. That's true. They'll sell you the bath water. So... Oh, well, now we're getting into some expensive shit if you're talking about personality or streamer. <laughs> Porch is done. By the way, fourteen ninety nine. get your gig on shit. <laughs> there we go. I just start selling my own shit. Not like, not like merchandise shit, but my, my literal shit. <laughs> yeah. Although I... I think there might be something um, in the law books about doing that. So, uh, fourteen ninety nine for gig on shit, but it may not be gig on shit. It might just be some concoction of My chocolate concoction. syrup. Uh, That's why I'm surprised she's able to sell her bath water too, right? Because that would still contain bodily fluids. Just water at the end of the day. I mean, there's a lot of shit in water. Literal <laughs> shit. Literal shit. So. Don't be jealous because she thought of it first. That's true. She's got a hell of a marketing team to come up with all this shit. For her. But I'm surprised she's not the one that came up with the uh, the first one to come up with the artistic nudity thing. That's that's right up her eye, eye, uh, alley. Her, uh, what do they call them? Demographics? Not demographics, but the uh, not hashtags, but uh, pretty much like when there's... Oh, wrong button. There's like so many people doing this particular tag. So they make an action to a category. Everywhere that's called. Uh, if we're talking about Amaranth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She has a whole team, so. And way too much money. She also has an OnlyFans. So. She also has what? She has an OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. So. OnlyFans. She owns a couple companies. business person in that regard so kudos to her yep so well didn't she uh buy out the the company that made all the uh, uh ball pit balls so she then used that I, company to make her custom ball pit balls for her streams yeah i think she did so Uh, not going to say that I'd be a gold digger, but I would be a gold digger. <laughs> I'd be the trophy husband if she wanted it. You want me to clean? Okay, honey. That works for me. Let me just have a Ferrari and 
not have to work other than what you tell me to do, I'm good. Just let me be in your videos once in a while. <laughs> nah, I don't even have to do that. Don't even want to be in your porn, huh? Nah. So. I wouldn't get jealous, I'd just be... He's Gold digger. Uh, yeah. digger. <laughs> you don't even care if she's uh, having a, a side piece, huh? No, don't really give two shits. I don't know if that's wrong of me or not. <laughs> as long as you're getting your, your Ferrari and... Uh... And uh, living you living your life dream of not having to do much, huh? Yeah. Well, I not necessarily not having to do much. I'm I'm fine doing something. But so I'm pretty sure that she makes enough money where she hires house cleaners. So you don't have to clean the house. But I'd wear a maid costume for her all around the house. <laughs> if that's what she wanted, you wear a maid costume for her. Uh, have the feather duster and everything. <laughs> I'm not trying to be sexist by any means, so. It's funny that you mention that because uh, when I popped on to start my stream, I leave tabs open. And one of the tabs happened to be it got raided into some other guy that uh, a guy was streaming and he was wearing a, a maid costume. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a hammer as a side piece. Is he still open? Do I still have that tab open? No, I changed the tab. I was like, I don't really watch this shit. Maybe that was his side piece. Sure, you know. You obviously watch other people that, that, that do. That, uh, wear main costumes? I do that on, on Pornhub, but it's mainly females who wear the porn costumes. Uh, who wear the, the main costumes. Mainly the females. Mainly females. I don't want to see dudes in maid costumes. That's not my. That's not my kink. Not my kink. So he said. I we guess lost he, Dev. Yeah, he popped in here for a minute, and then he decided he, he didn't want to watch power washing. I guess. We're just talking like about I told it. you, we're, we were going to have a bunch of, of people come on. <laughs> well, maybe after this project, we'll switch over to uh, uh, another game. Maybe some, some goats or... I don't know what else would be entertaining for but, people. So, here's the funny thing. Is we've been playing this for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Really? It doesn't seem like that long. I know. that That's the problem with this game. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll just pop in and put... Oh, shit, it's four hours later. Fuck. Fuck you're indeed. just like, ooh, that. one more, one more. I, I just need to get one more piece. It's the Minecraft syndrome. It is, oh my jeez. Oh my god, Minecraft. How many hours I've lost in that game. But the real question is, did you enjoy it? Yes. Well, then you didn't really lose hours. That's true. I mean, Someone... you don't. Go ahead. I would say, like, for people like who 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 play WoW, but then when they play WoW, they have to like have a show going off to the side for them to watch that at the same time as while they're playing WoW. It's like, are you really 
What's the point of playing WoW if you're not having enough fun with it? We have to watch another show. Watch a show as you're doing it. That's, that's something I don't get about some some games. It's like, if it's not fun enough where you can play it by itself, and you have to be watching a show at the same time. Why are you playing? Yeah, it's a good point. I very well might have a few games that I do that with. This one might have been one of them. <laughs> so. I think you had the right idea, though, like doing the podcast thing, right? That makes sense for doing this, because that's what I do in real life, right? Yeah. Is that so. would be, uh, I'd be, um, I'd have a, I'd have like a, a podcast or an audible book going as I'm, as I'm power washing shit. That's right. Yeah, I should do more podcasts. Eh. I should do more manager podcasts, but then I'm like, I hate people. I don't know why I'm the manager. <laughs> like making podcasts or listening to podcasts? Listening to podcasts. All okay. right. There's a bunch of them out there on management and leadership. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Something I probably should have gotten into listen to when I was managing people, but as you said, I don't like people, so I don't even know why I was a manager. Money. Well, maybe not on your side. Yeah, the money wasn't great, unfortunately. That's one of the reasons why I left, because they, they were more willing to put the money towards other areas than, than my areas. So I was like, well, okay, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. You're in the yeah, private sector, so you get paid better in the private sector. Yeah. So there's a comparable job in the town that is in town that is uh uh could be at, at about twenty k more. So. Or what you're doing now. Yeah. You thinking about applying for it? Closes at the beginning of the year, so. Is that you saying you might apply for it? Yeah, I might. I don't know. I need to update my resume because I try to keep it updated every couple of years. So. And, and then see if I'm even relevant for the job. So I meet all the. I don't meet all the requirements because I don't have a bachelor or equivalent. You don't have the equivalent? I th thought you've been in the field for long enough. No. I said I don't have a bachelor. I have the Oh. Your uh, mic's cutting in and out a little bit. <clears throat> I will sit a little bit closer then. So. So you don't have the bachelor's, but you have the equivalent, though. Yeah. So. But I'm like, I don't know if I really want to deal with a different set of people. You just got used to dealing with the, the set you're using yep. now. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't say that. I don't even know who, like... Sad thing is, like, how big our department's grown. Like, we went from five or six people to... I think we're close to 60 right now. So, there's Since a lot of people that I don't even know who they are. And that's since you started working for the company? Uh, yeah. So. Granted, though, our department's the size it is. So. Size of what? Size it is because of, so. Because oh. I set up a lot of the training and a lot of the, you know, how do we scale, that kind of thing. So. How do we train? How do we scale? How do we, you know, onboard people? Um, and our attrition rate's pretty good. I mean, the only people we've really lost are uh, the ones that have chased money, basically. So. 
which really isn't. Yeah, if you, if, we've if had. Yeah, so if they're chasing money. Those probably aren't the ones you want on your team. As I say, but, um, the benefits. I, I don't blame anyone for that, but um, you know, the other aspect is uh, we have people that boomerang. So I think we've had three people that have boomeranged now left and then came back. So realize that the grass was not greener on the other side. Yep. So. I'm honestly surprised I didn't see that more with a company I worked for. I only seen it happen once, at least in the IT field. But they had a guy on the networking team who was really good at his job and everyone loved him. And he left. But then within like six months, he came back. I don't know if it was because they realized how good of a job he did, so they offered him more money to have him come back or what? Or he got out there. Yeah, I kind of uh, realized the, the benefits and all that stuff's worth it to stay with that company. Yeah, so. Or maybe he just couldn't cut it out in the... I mean, there is a difference between uh, private sector and government sector, right? So. Uh, That's very true. So true. But... Yeah. So. So fucking true. Yeah, and I don't mean to, to tout uh, the team or anything like that that I'm on. It's kind of impressive we've grown by as much as we have, and we've actually only fired three people now so we've hired like uh, close to 60 something like that in the past couple of years so nice but but I mean the other aspect is uh, the job is highly trainable and kind of look for the hungry hump smart type of people so like Sorry, say that again have, um, <clears throat> the job is highly trainable so always we don't necessarily look for skill we look for if they're hungry humble smart uh, okay is what we call it so um, there's a book out there called uh, the ideal team player that kind of talks about how do you build the ideal team, right? Uh, you look for people that are hungry, humble, and smart. Um, you know, the author uh, talks about. So, and so that's what we uh, look for. That's the way. That's, that's the best way to. Hire. Best way to do it, right? That's how you can build a good team that knows what they're doing and also is a good match. Yeah. And uh, when I started with the last group I was a part of before I left the company, um, we hired a, a special developer, uh, micro, not Microsoft, but uh, what the fuck was that? website called um, SharePoint. SharePoint specialist. And we interviewed a, a, a handful of people and there's one person I thought would be a great fit for the team who had a decent amount of experience. And I said, hey, let's see who I think we should be hired because of this, this, and this. And the manager's like, nope, I'm going to hire this guy because he sounds like he has good experience. And he ends up hiring that dude, and he's a horrible fit for the team. And years of having to deal with him, it's like, yep, yeah, I probably shouldn't have hired that dude. So it goes back to what you were saying about the, uh, the hungry whatever. Yeah. So they're a good fit. Well, and the other thing that I've 
learned now too that I will not let happen again. Uh, unless I interview the person, they're not going to be on my team. So. Say what? You learned what now? Um, unless I interview them, they're not on my team. Oh, yep. Yeah, you so. never let anybody else interview your people. Yep. Fired uh, one of the guys that. I did not get to to enter, and I probably wouldn't have hired him. It's a bad fit, huh? Yeah. Well, and he, I mean, I look for certain. Uh, I look for certain. Uh, Traits and kind of personalities, definitely not uh, one that I would have probably hired. Because usually, like, usually in interviews, I can weed out and kind of pick up on if someone's going to be one of those, uh, like, not get it type of people, like, that are just going to constantly be like, well, how do I do this? Okay. This is how you do this. Well, how do I do this? I told you that last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, I've told you this, you know, ten times. Uh, no. So. I move mean, well, along, mister. You're not, getting, you're not understanding how the job works. Yep. Yeah. No, and it's not like my job's rocket science. So. Uh, not rocket science, is that what you said? <laughs> yep. It's not. So you're saying uh, a monkey could do your job? Uh, pretty much. I mean, oh, geez. the big thing is just QA, right? So some in a QA, but are you talking about like managing people or the actual like field that you're in? Field that I'm in. Okay. So I shouldn't say that. So the way that we have it set up, it's it's a lot easier. So if you're um, if you're dealing with uh, Esri, then more of an Esri product, um, it's going to be harder. We don't use Esri. Um, well, we use Esri, but it's for, um, kind of the back end, so. So Esri can get kind of complicated, even though not super complicated, but front end that we use, use makes it really stupid simple, so. You guys stuck to the KISS? Motive, motto, whatever, motto, method. Uh, sort of, to a certain. So. Oh. And I really shouldn't say it's that simple because there's a lot of shit that goes into it. But just to be a, a regular kind of tech is not super difficult in my mind so now on the the flip side we do some things with uh um auto design and stuff like that that basically lets the computer do a lot of the stuff that gets a little more complicated and is not just so there's a little bit more skill huh It's all these little dots I'm trying to happen. Maybe I'm. Oh, we have another roof over here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's funny oh, because yeah. this roof was fucking filthy still. <laughs> it, like, oh. it was like, it was, I maybe had like maybe 10% of it cleaned off. And then you found something and it goes, ba ding! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one of the weird things with this game. Then. Let's see if we can find the gnome. 
There's always a gnome. There's the soccer ball. Can I just jump off the roof? There we go. Oh, there he is. He's over here in the corner. Yeah, there's a gnome. Oh, there he is. He's over here in the corner. Gave him a shot to the face. <laughs> now I gave him a shot to the rectum. Rectum. <laughs> and near killed him. What's the uh, what's the procedure where you have uh, your your asshole your uh, colon power washed? Or do you use a little bit of high power powered. Uh... Hey, there's a cat up there. Oh. Yeah. Doing? So that's probably the missing cat. You can't get over there. <laughs> That's the missing cat. We can't do anything about it. No. That's the mayor's cat. There's like a whole backstory behind this. So, let's oh, see. see. You can see the volcano in the background. the volcano now. Yep. Um, the volcano. In fact, um, let me see if I can start a game. And I'll invite you to it. Okay. Let's see, let me get out of this thing here. That cat's following you around for the power cleaning. Let me show the back of the house. We got $550 for that. Ooh. The next one is the, uh... Penguin jig. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Oh, why am I still here? Um... You're gonna be in there until you go to, uh... Is there somewhere else I want to go for menu-wise? Oh, probably here? Here. Main menu. Okay, and then... Did you say you're going to send me... Oh. oh, I invited you. All right, so let's see here. How do I... Was it Windows G? Yeah. I don't know if I should show you this one. I guess it probably doesn't matter. This is probably not the most impressive. How do I... Hold on. Windows G. Continue to see more details about this game. They will open... Oh, oh I don't want that. I want to... For some reason, your invite's not showing up. All right. Let me see if I... Game. Here we go. Join game. There we go. There we goes. I'm oh, downloading something. Oh, oh shit! What the fuck? It's like a temple. Yeah. Oh, and there's like there little a little guy right here. And the gnome. Yeah. So and then it, it's funny because so this is supposed to be like an ancient temple that you're supposed to clean. Uh -huh. And then there's these girls all over here that uh, correspond to what you were doing with the jobs. Oh, the different so, jobs I did? Yeah. Huh. Um, this one may not be one, but I know... Oh, yeah. Like, here's a Ferris wheel, so at one point you clean a, a circus. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh... There's a fucking helicopter and a boot. That's how we got out here. Oh, there's our there's our our van is attached to this helicopter. That seems a little. Weird. Oh, nice! I never realized that. Yep, you clean a bathroom. At one point, so. Oh, I can only imagine how nasty that's gonna be. Yep. Uh, I didn't even realize that our van was on it. Huh. Uh, let's go get a church maybe. And then another church or a castle. Here's oh, there's the boat. Oh, uh, okay, lean a boat at some point in time. I wonder if you can change your because you're on the shittiest one. I bet you you can change to the best one now that I'm the host. It's a power washer. Nope, it still has the crappy. Oh. I can't 
can't Boo. sorry I can't change my nozzles or anything like that I'm assuming then we can like walk up the uh, the side of this thing yep it's a waving walk right up so you get to see the volcano so we clean the plane at some point in time. Yep. And then the helicopter at some point in time. There's the helicopter that brought us here. It looks like. Yeah. Here's looks like a horse and buggy. Oh, car. Why is there a golf cart carrying? It's weird. The motorcycle. Some cars. Oh, that's the one I should go take you to. A UFO? Okay. Yep, I forgot about that one. Well, this, here's the... I think this is the house we just got in cleaning, right? Yep. There's a shed. So that, oh, this was the. This must have been the garden house. Yeah, that was the garden one. Yeah. Okay. What's with the car with the horse pulling it along? Uh, because at one point you wash the dude's car that owns that little backyard bungalow. Oh, okay. Um. So, that's the mayor's mansion. So we went, at some point, then we watched wash the mayor's mansion. Yep, and his uh, houseboat. Or not his houseboat, but his RV. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the fire station. So, clean all that stuff from the fire station. That uh, the volcano looks like it's more active now compared to compared to when we saw it. Yeah. So the uh, mayor has been doing some shady thing. Oh no. And, uh, um, basically, uh, has been making the volcano upset, or making the god of the volcano upset. And so, this is his temple. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. But, oh boy. Sounds like it has more of a backstory to it compared to what I thought it was going to. Others and you just you power wash things, but no, there's actually a backstory to it, huh? Yep, there is. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one. No, that's not the one. The one? Oh, vehicles. Boot, a helicopter. We could clean the helicopter. I'm just looking at the stuff. It's interesting that they have this scaffolding. I'm guessing so you I'm trying can to remember it. which one is the UFO. Uh There's no fall damage. Ooh. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. <laughs> I mean, we could clean the, uh, Mars rover. There's a paintball arena. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you asked about the car. There you so, go. There's the, uh, oh, he's got like a little rally car. Yep, it's his race car. He hasn't uh, used it in a while. So. But yeah, you can see how it resembles the little painting. 
Oh, yeah. So. But, you know, ancient times, they didn't know that cars had engines. They had to figure out a different way to propel it. So, of course. Because, you know, back in the time, they had cars in ancient times, yeah. right? <laughs> Well, they didn't, but the prophet saw cars. They didn't know how to represent, like, they knew that they ran, but they figured they were like carts. At least that's what I think it's like, so. They probably didn't have gasoline back there, that's why they couldn't figure out how to make them go. Man, my uh, my power washer isn't even strong enough to clean some of this gunk off. Yeah, this is a little bit farther on, so. Some good old grime on Probably the bumper here. here. Grime on the bumper? There is. Yeah, my power washer is strong enough to get it. <laughs> like, I try and spray this right here. Oh, I got that green stuff off. There's brown stuff. I can't get the brown stuff off with my power washer. Whatever you you're, you're doing it. Can't you see? I mean, I just saw you do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As as I spray over you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go really quick if we both had the the fast one. So. I think this is meant for the intermediate washer, to be honest. The next one up. Can't afford. I can't afford now, yeah. So. Let's see. Can I just go buy that now that I have the money for it? Uh, you should be able to. Go to shop. Job details, shop. Power washers, medium. Aha, I can. What about heavy? Can I get the heavy? But I can get this one. Buy. And do I have to buy each nozzle? Yep. Uh, you get the main set of nozzles, but then there's some specialty nozzles. The ro roly poly one, and a few others. That you have to buy. And then the extensions help you reach stuff. Yeah, this is what I'm used to. This is the, the nozzle that we had. Power washed our fence. Maximum power with a little bit of extra coverage. There it is. Windscreen. There you go. <laughs> the. Oh. We did the vehicles. I was trying to remember which one has the UFO, but can't remember. Uh. I think it's this one, but no, well, it can't be that one. That one's not really fair, but I'll take you to that one because. Randomly, we're in a desert. Randomly in a desert and at a finger that's pointing at something. Oh, it's like a camp site thing. There's with uh There's an RV here. And uh what are these things called? Dust bunnies? No. Uh Trouble bleeds. I hear a cat. You hear a cat? I keep hearing a cat. Because that's the mayor's cat that went lost. It's somewhere around here? Yeah. It's back in here? 
See the volcano. Hello, Hendrix. Happy, happy uh, Sunday or Tuesday to you there, Hendrix. You see the cat? I see the volcano's way over there. Sunset here. I don't hear the cat over here anymore. It's more of when I'm over here I hear a cat. Oh, I found the gnome. It's kind of eerily watching us. We can't get over there. Where? Where I'm oh, spraying. Way over there. Spray doesn't go that far. Well, yours Those are Tuesday. Let's see if mine actually can. I wonder if that's what the deal with the cat, too. Maybe the cat is just randomly watching us from somewhere. Oh, shit. Can you open this box? Is the cat inside this box? Can't open anything up. All right. I hear seagulls. Well, you wanted to see the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I want to see how dirty this bathroom is. <laughs> Sorry, it's a washroom. It's not a bathroom. Oh. Hendrix, are you a power wash simulator player? Oh, jeez. This is disgusting. Just wait till you look at the toilets. Oh no. So these are interesting. I'm assuming these are urinals. Oh, yeah. that poor gnome. It's, are these wooden wooden toilet seats? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, but they look brand new when you spray them. When you spray them down. Jeez. Somehow, somewhere, I've never seen wood uh, get reconditioned like that. That quickly. That quickly. <clears throat> Day was okay. It's uh, it's Tuesday. Um, didn't do anything super special today. Well, I take that back. We did. Uh, we uh, cleaned up all our hol holiday decorations today. Is what we did. So that was the majority of my day. And then uh, did some shoveling because we got some uh, some snow. And uh, yeah, then hung out with the kiddos. This is my first time playing Power Wash Simulator. Let's see if we can get this to work over on the YouTube side. Over there. He's just that good that he's this far into the game already. Yep, I'm just this this, good, this far into the game. That's how good I am. There we go. There's 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 the poll question for you. Every stream we do like to ask a poll question. Is tonight's poll question is. Um, What's the best thing you ate over the holiday break? And then also, when does your family normally take down holiday decorations? Best streamer, well thank you, I appreciate that. Much appreciate that, much appreciate it. This is the first time I played this game, so I'm learning the ins and outs of it. We have done, we did the bug, bungalow, did the dirt bike, and we did the garden. Of course, the van, too, because that's the first one we can do, right? Now, Dobes has shown me all the other locations, some of the other interesting, sorry, interesting locations. He really wanted to see how bad the bathroom Yeah, I want to see how bad this public restroom is, and this is pretty bad. It's pretty disgusting. Like, especially these sinks, like, how... How people? How can you, your hands be even clean from this? All right, this is well, this, this is horrible. Gigan was amazed that we were wearing kind of like hazmat suits. Yeah, I was like, it why do we need to wear hazmat suits? And now it makes sense. We're wearing hazmat suits because these places are fucking filthy. Not sure. You don't know about food or uh, decorations. 
Oh, I forgot to mention that. So we made, uh, well, my wife mainly made uh, homemade uh, scalloped potatoes, which were freaking amazing. And then I made my first time ever making uh, ribeye, which turned out a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It was delicious. I have I made two of them because it came in a two pack. And so I'll have the leftovers on Thursday. I'm excited. See how well it reheats. You said I ate two of them, and I, I, I know the size of them, and I was like, holy crap, dude. No, and I then when I reiterated that it'll be two next th or two days from now, I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it was, they were huge. They were pretty dang big. I had a hard time finishing the first one. I did cut parts of the uh, parts of the second one up a little bit, like part of it off, and gave that to the dogs for their Christmas meal. So, it was uh, it was definitely it was definitely tasty. And I was like I said, I was surprised on how well I did for being my first time making a, a, a ribeye. Did you grill it or did you? I pan seared it. Did you do the butter trick? I did. You know? Yeah. To make it keep it nice and moist. Yep, where you just pan the butter or keep scooping the butter on top of it. Yeah, I actually didn't end up having to do that because the butter stayed like on top of it and just kept melting. And when I flipped it over, it didn't have much more longer to cook because I like mine medium, medium rare. And so I kept checking the temp and I was like, okay, this is good temp. And uh, it's still got butter up here. I did add too much garlic. I do have to say, I had too much garlic, but it still tasted good. Um, yeah, when I saw it, I was kind of wondering if... Uh, <laughs> it was a little garlicky. Garlic so. <laughs> well, I, was, I, I first, I, at first I only did one clove. I was like, oh, that's not gonna be enough. And then like, I, I, after I started eating, I was like, ah, I probably should have done just one clove of garlic. A little bit of thyme, thyme with it too. So it's thyme, garlic. Uh, what else did I put in there? I was looking for rosemary, but we didn't have any rosemary in the house. A little bit of celery salt, and what's the other thing I put in there? Ooh, I also had like a beef rub too that I put on it first, and I had it let sitting out for about thirty minutes. A little bit of a uh, beef rub on it. Best damn steak I probably had. Next to next to when that uh, towel towel grilled for us on uh, that weekend where we went to his house for our birthdays. Pat uh, down the steak. That's also another thing. Time. Say what now? Pat down the steak. Pat it down. Pat it down. Oh, pat it down. Oh, I did that too. Yep, I pat I pat dried it. Get some so. extra blood off of it. I accidentally yes, did, did leave that uh, a little bit of the blood in a bowl in the sink. And uh, wow. <laughs> my wife found it and she's like, uh, are you saving this blood for something? Are you going to like use it to like keep your, your steak moist? <laughs> no. I just got to dump it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did similar to Giga on yesterday, so did a nice good steak. So, yeah. although I did not use any fresh herbs, I used uh, for Christmas. I got Omaha steak, so mm. I also had some Omaha steak seasoning. So I just that I got lazy. But I still butter. Did you pan sear yours too or grill it? Pan seared. So I, it's too fucking cold to grill. It's yeah. snowing outside. Yeah, it was cold. It was definitely cold. I don't have a grill on the inside. And I got, so. uh, for Christmas, I also got uh, a little pan griddle thing. For particularly, I wanted it for when we make burgers, when I pan fry burgers. 
And he's like, well, this is perfect timing because I'm going to have steak. So I can use it. That's what I can get first use with it is uh, to make these steaks. Do you have a special pan you use for your pan grilling searing or whatever? Nope, I probably should. I know cast iron does a pretty good job, but yeah. That's what everything said was use a cast iron. I, was like, I don't have cast iron. This one was aluminum. That's aluminum. It still works. Yeah, the cast iron just gives it a, a better, uh, better sear, essentially. So, but at the end of the day, if you have good steak, any way you cook it, it yeah. So, as long as you don't overcook it. <laughs> shouldn't say that, yeah, because there's people that good old farmer, well done. Ew. Why? Why are you even eating this steak then if you can eat it well done? Oh. Well. There, there's a steakhouse here in town that charges extra for the end butts of prime rib. Throwaway stuff. Really? Yep. Charge an extra two bucks for the ends of prime rib. Are right, so what they well, call burnt, uh, burnt ends? No, that is something different. That's something different, okay. Huh. So, when you do a prime rib, you have the, obviously, the, the, um, front and the back of it gets fairly well done, right? So, yep. um, granted, it's all season, so that's what they, um, uh, claim is why they charge more, but um, the dumbasses around here will actually pay for it. Dumbasses. So. <laughs> yeah, most places just throw it away. So. Interesting. Or, I shouldn't say they throw it away, but they, they'll use it in, like, a soup or something like that, because most people don't want super well done prime. So. People will pay extra for it. Weird. Yeah. Well, it's a treat. It's a treat? Your mom's a treat. Yeah. I, I... I'm glad you found that. <laughs> Is she walking normal now after uh, after the last weekend I had with her? Uh, no, because I had biggers. Is she had biggers? Is that you said? Yeah. <laughs> she had bigger. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Why are we still playing this game? I don't know. Because we got to talk about... <laughs> we got distracted by talking about food and... And then it's like, well, let's keep playing then. You, 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 you brought me here to show me how dirty this place is, and we just started cleaning it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, we're that here. Is why this game is bad. You just get kind of sucked like, into it. Yep. Yeah, one more block. One more block. Whole Minecraft thing, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my side's all done. What's taking your side all the time? What are you talking about? Your side's done. Oh, yeah. Your side's all done. Are your urinals over here? Yeah. You also have, like, a probably a better power washer than I have. I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mine is a piece of shit. I'm pretty sure you have the, uh... I'm pretty sure you have the, um... Hold on, where's that here? I'm using the original one. No, you're not. Let's go to shop. 
I'm pretty sure you are using the professional duty one. Yeah. Because yours is white. That's what the professional duty one is, is white. Yeah, but so is the original. No, it's not. The original is black and blue. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> As you spray me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I think it's like reflecting off your backpack. Oh, never mind. Looked like it was. We missed the spot because you were spraying me. <laughs> you just spray spray me with your hose there, get gun. Good old, good old sprayings. So One, of One of these days, get gun. One of these days. Pow! Right in the kisser. Straight. Right in the kisser. Straight to the moon. Now I'm stunned. I think you'll make a lot of money off the. I don't know what you made off the other one we did. I haven't paid enough attention. I mean, I like how it's 75 cents to clean something. I don't know if you noticed the prices popping. Urinal spreader, 25 cents. Lights, 50 cents. Metal steps, four dollars. Dollar fifty to to wash the steel girders. Jeez, how do you keep track of to charge people that shit, right? I I think the person we're playing is pretty uh, autistic. <laughs> uh, so they can, like, keep track of that pretty easily, huh? Yeah, like Rain Man, right? <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't mean that as, like, a bad thing by any means. I just... Uh. Uh, it's just yeah, it's like... Okay, yeah, I, uh, I washed three lights, uh, ten lights, ten urinals, ten uh, uh, trim edges, five metal stairs... And then I'm done for the day, and I'll be back tomorrow. But I want my 350. Yeah, <laughs> my 350 for clean all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You know, with our last house, we actually had when we had it painted, we uh, we hired a guy to do it, and he did he power washed the outside of it first before he painted it, but he didn't like do anything to catch all the paint chips. And so they were all over our yard and stuff. And then when we went to go paint, he got paint on, like, stuff he wasn't supposed to get paint on. Like the foundation and uh, I think, like, our our, um, our air conditioner unit, my grass. And he was, like, quickly doing this. He really wanted to get the job done quickly and done fast. And I found out why. Well, we ended up firing him because, like, on the second day of him painting... Before he came, I went out there and looked, and, like, there's still spots that needed to be scraped. Because there's, like, paint hanging off and, and whatnot. Like, old paint hanging off. And so, when he showed up, I was like, hey, so what's what's going on with this? Are you gonna, are you gonna scrape this? Clean this off more or not? Um, and he's go, like, oh, nope, I'm done. I'm not gonna scrape anymore. We're done scraping. It is what it is. And I said, well, you can stop, you can stop painting then, because... That's not what we want. We want it to look nice. This is not looking nice. I can see down inside there, inside the cracks and stuff. And uh, he got really mad at me and uh, said I still owed him money for uh, the work that he has done, which is power washing. And he's like, well, you did a crappy job power washing, too, because if you would have done it correctly, this should have been all gone. You want me to pay him more money? He was like, we already paid you $300 uh, deposit. So uh, he uh, he threatened to uh, threatened to uh, put a lien on our house until we paid him more money. And I said, "Okay, go ahead, and uh, we'll see you in court then, and I'll explain how you didn't follow OSHA code or whatever to make sure that I didn't have any paint chips in my yard, and also show pictures to the judge of how you got paint in my yard 
on my foundation and this and that and he, he stopped harassing me after that the crappy yeah, he was yeah fortunately crappy. there's people like that but there's also people that would just go yeah okay whatever yep the crappy thing is we were uh, dealing with all this during my uh middle son's two-year-old birthday your birthday party so dealing with texts with that guy back and forth and, and harassing sucks. phone calls yeah it sucked but i was glad to stick it to him when he tried to threaten to, to lean on my house yeah hey, there's definitely some shady fucking contractors out there unfortunately yeah son of a bitch what does he do i think Oh, what the? What the? Oh, so like you could... Like I'm pushing the C button for aiming? I don't understand what that even does. For aiming wise. So you can, instead of uh, just going straight, you can basically like kind of pay and tilt to go around. Oh, I see. So, like, when I sit still. Oh, that could have been handy a long time ago. I don't really like that. It kind of... I mean, that's how you would actually power wash, but... It does make things seem... It's actually pretty easier doing it this way. Instead of walking back and forth. To each their own. To each their own. Or, that's uh, true. Yeah. I'm more of a just one and done kind of guy. Done, but walk around. So. One and done to your mom last night. It's not what she said. <laughs> Fine, we had an all nighter. Said she didn't even have an orgasm. She's lying. Or she faked it. <laughs> I think you know which one it is. <laughs> it's just wrong. <laughs> now, now, I could say something. Well, <laughs> I did it all night long with your mom, and she didn't even move an inch. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my mom. <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty tired after digging out that hole. <laughs> okay, sorry, that, that's probably too far. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I, I would never do that. I would never. Uh, unlike you, I would never. Uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Defile another, or a friend's mom. <laughs> Even if they're a milf and they're coming on to you, huh? Uh, <laughs> all my friends are older, so it'd probably be gilf, not milf. Gilf, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I haven't had that opportunity yet, not gonna lie. So, oh, jeez. I finished up the oh, urinal no, for you. Oh, clean the urinal. Yeah. Oh, you finished the urinal. Oh, fuck, I missed one, huh? Yeah, no, there's another one you missed. I appreciate you hitting him up. Damn, this is like... I wonder if these like black light visions is what we're seeing. That's how we can tell what's got missed. Oh my god, I looked in one of the toilets. Oh no. <laughs> that is not something you want to do. Well, look in a toilet with the uh, dirt vision? Yeah. yeah. Kind of cried inside. <laughs> God damn, I didn't know tragic these. 
jeez. Oh, wait, he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> Why is this wall still saying it's dirty? There's probably like a very. Hey, you're almost also not done. Urinal top, huh? That's done. So that scene where this last bit of dirt's oh, that something needs to be done. I'm, yeah, I'm, a, I'm even surprised we could see in here with the lights all uh I know completely oh, covered up. So how the hell did I get it on the ceiling? I don't know. <laughs> that takes a special skill. Man, that had to be like super explosive, right? It's like you know they they were covered and had to tell themselves when they left the place. <laughs> that or they had to change clothes, one of the two. Maybe they walked in with a hazmat suit like us. And they just like, a rear open. Yeah, I was gonna say had some kind of access in the back. I mean once it's all cleaned it does look pretty cool though. It looks nice. It's nice little wash room. So I pee in the urinals. You pee in the urinals. <laughs> now, the urinals are a little weird in the fact that, I don't know, Usually, other people could see the junk. Well, not, uh, yes, because you're standing, you're standing on this metal thing, right? So, yeah, people can see your junk. It, it's like old school urinals. That's what that is. Old school, you say. Old okay. school. Uh, I'll believe you on that one. So, I don't think I've ever seen urinals that look like that. I must be European. Must be European. I've been at a couple buildings where they were that they look that. that. Hey, it's an egg roll. Hi, egg roll. You didn't get my pun. Hey, no, spicy. Hey, no, Oh, you're your European one. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad joke, but European. European. Doing okay. How about yourself, egg roll? How was your holiday? <laughs> are still filthy. Howdy, egg roll. Do anything fun and exciting, egg roll, for your holiday? I have the, the ability to just keep my power wash going. <clears throat> Not really, huh? What was the most amazing thing that you ate during the holiday weekend? That's a nice poll question. And also, when do you guys usually put, uh, when does your family usually put away Christmas decorations? Or holiday, I should say holiday decorations. Not, not Christmas decorations, just holiday decorations. Way to be inclusive there, Giga. I tried, we. I make sure everyone's involved, everyone's included. Oh, I, I, I guess I do have a Festivus poll, but I just leave that up all year round. Best of this. <laughs> That's a holiday I've not heard of for a long time. <laughs> You'll miss my presents. Give you give you good old presents. Gigon <laughs> said they gave my mom a present. I was kind of pissed off about that. 
Uh, here, a good old, uh, uh, good old pea pounding present. I'm assuming you're making a pun there, egg roll, with the presents. Comment. Is this your present? Ah. I get it now. Present, presents. Yeah, present, presents. Just wait till Uncle Eddie tells you the sugar's full. <laughs> that one's not a pun. No, it's not. That shitter is that shitter is full. <laughs> yeah, no stream on Sunday, and then also no pass probably possibly no stream on uh, January sixteenth. So we're we're uh, there was a sale going on for Great Wolf Lodge, and so we. Uh, went ahead and got some tickets because our friends wanted us to go with them. And so we got tickets for a really good deal. And that was the only weekend that it can go. Actually, we're going on a Monday and coming back on Tuesday. So I'm assuming we'll come back at a decent time on Tuesday. So that being said, I should hopefully, should be able to stream that Tuesday, but just in case. Figured I would let everybody know that there may not be a stream on that Tuesday. I feel sorry for. Sorry for what? I feel sorry for the gnome. Oh, because he's stuck in the toilet. Yeah, I had to move him. Cleaning the toilet. I'll put him back once it's clean. Once it's clean, put him back in his little bathing tube uh, tub. <laughs> yeah. So. So uh, I know Agrol, you played this game for a while. Did you did you beat it like Dobes did? Dobes was showing me some of the old. This, this is his map. I've not played. This, I'm not far enough to actually have this map myself yet. Not yet, huh? How much further do you have to go? The last level, last few levels take fucking forever. Especially that temple, I can see that taking forever. That's like a two-day project right there. You will have really left to go. What's the uh, no. furthest you've gotten so far, egg roll? On my my career, we did we just finished the bungalow. Bungalow. Uh, not gigolo, but bungalow. Hey, Dobes, man, that should be your next career path is a, a gigolo. Tried it. Can't make any money. Can't make any money. There's too many apps now for people to uh, hook, get easy hookups, huh? But I'm sure that, I charge by the inch. Charge by the inch? <laughs> how does that even work? Like how many inches you give them? Yeah. <laughs> You're only able to give them one inch? <laughs> Pretty much, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Even when I'd, uh, you know, try to bump it up to like 25 bucks an inch, I mean, 13.50 is not much. Thirteen fifty is not much. You know, there's still there's still ladies who probably have kinks of uh, pain for sex. I'm sure that's still a kink for many people. Even though there's like apps that allow you to easily get laid. Last thing I finished. I like if someone can think it. of it. There's a, someone that has a kink for it. It's true. So yeah, there's a kink for it. I mean, Reddit's a prime example of that. If you just randomly search 
w one word things, you'll find something not safe for work. So, <laughs> that's, that's porn. I mean... Last thing he finished was the carousel. How much uh, oh, yeah, so, further ahead is that? He's about halfway through. Um, the carousel is, let's see. Uh, 4 from the end. 4 from the end. So you have the sub or no, sorry. 5 from the end. So. Oh, he's almost there. Yeah. I'm assuming well, the job takes longer after that, though, huh? Yeah, th as you get progressively farther, the jobs take longer. Are you able to, like, pause in the middle of the, like, save your progress? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, we could quit right now and then come back tomorrow. All right. It's not completely evil of a game, so. Not like the old school games, right? Where yeah. you couldn't save your progress, you had to, like, play through the entire game in order to uh, beat it. Yeah. Or write down some code that's like 16 digits long to get back yeah. where you were at. Yeah. So. Those were the Kill days. Now. <laughs> the old now, yeah. But, I mean... Just think about that in terms of, like, before us, like, those people didn't have many games. They had the arcade games, right? And so they had to sit there for hours and hours. Yeah, but even before us, there wasn't very many, like, actual arcade games. It was like Pac-Man. Right? It wasn't anything, like, visually very visually stimulating like asteroids pac-man and uh, that kind of thing so it's kind of weird to think about pac-man Packy packy man, packy packy man. Use my special, my new special noozle. Get this graffiti off of here. <clears throat> special nozzle working for you. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> Hey girl, what's new? What's happening? What's uh how's work going for you? Yeah. We're eighty two percent done with this project. Should we just finish it? I said we just finish it and call night after that. We spend this much time on it, right? Might as well finish it. It's already 11.40, though. Jeez, in peace. I guess it's your call. You, uh, you gotta probably go to work in the morning. Yeah, it works easy right now. I don't... Like, nobody's in, so... Like, you know, I talked about hating people. Uh-huh. This is the time to go into work. <laughs> I don't have to manage anybody. It's just like, yeah, they're all on fucking vacation. I don't fucking care. So... <laughs> I, I I know that sounds horrible, but there are some days where I'm just like, really? <laughs> so, like, how do you even wake up in the morning, and how do you even take care of yourself? Well, I, I I realized why all my my previous bosses liked me so much because I was pretty much self sufficient, and I never really bugged them except for, you know, when I really needed something, and so. I'm like, yeah, okay. Now I know uh, why they like me. <laughs> they can just rely on you to get the job done. 
Yeah. Not too many employees like that. I know I had an employee well, like that. Cool. Always amazes me how many are like, well, what about the specific HR policy that I can't find? What, what, what's the specifics of it? Like, we have a fucking website specifically for that. Like, you can't go and just look it up. And, like, it's a SharePoint site, too, so you can just type in what you're looking for and it'll pull you to the direct site. But, okay, I'll do it for you. Oh boy. Being a servant leader and everything, but it happens more often than not. So we're like, I don't know what my how much vacation I have. Clock in every day, and that system tells you yeah. how much vacation I have. <laughs> so. Wow, and these are people who use a computer every day to do their job. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm over exaggerating it a little bit, but okay. some of them are pretty <laughs> bad. So. I see the sprays of water on occasion. I'm in the probably in the stall next to you. You are? See, yeah, you can see on, on your. When I look over on your screen, you can see me on occasion. Yeah, I see your spray. Crossing the sprays. We're, we're crossing the streams here. <laughs> what, what did they say happens if you cross the spray? The, the streams. I don't remember what the, uh, the they said it happens. They said like uh, interdimensional chaos or something. I think they said something about uh, worse than a nuke or something. Like that. Oh, that was it. Yeah. So. Worse than a nuke. 89% done. Still don't know how you get shit on a ceiling light. <laughs> very, very carefully? <laughs> uh, hey, Will, you got any experience in that? Because I'm really interested in finding out how someone does that. How does someone get shit on the light ceiling? The, the light that's on the ceiling. Ceiling light, yep. I think that should be a poll question. <laughs> where's, where's the weirdest place you found human feces at? <laughs> or seen human feces at? The upper part of a toilet. <laughs> Might be a painting for the upper decker. I don't know. <laughs> Tal still has it somewhere. He probably has it in a box somewhere from his packing. Yeah. Kind of feel sorry for the dude with how much shit he's been through. Yeah, it's ridiculous, like, how much shit he's been having to deal with. For his new home. I know there's, like, a little bit of problems you gotta expect here and there, but his, he's, like, kind of Extremely ridiculous amount of problems you've been having to deal with. You just can't hire new, uh, hire good help these days, apparently. Well, his dad did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> well, What's that say? <laughs> it's true. L4. Nasty tile floor. Well, you know, the other thing, he didn't tell the group, but three out of his six appliances had some issue. So. Three of the I guess six? He, Jeez. Yeah. So his stove had an issue, and then I guess his washing machine, I don't know, third one, but I guess his washing machine just fills up with water every like three hours. Like on its own? On its own, yep. Yeah. That is really weird. Yeah. Maybe uh, he's got. Maybe he's got a name. Is it probably like a, a smart? Is it smart washing machine? Uh, probably. I mean, everything's smart. Anything that's new is smart. It seems like. Because he might have a neighbor that's fucking with him. Because we have a neighbor that's got some kind of smoker, and I can turn it on and off from my phone. Like I see it 
part of my smart devices. So maybe he has a neighbor that's uh, either fucking with him or like turning on the wrong. I think Cal is smart enough to figure that one out. If someone was. So. Oh. <laughs> But that still just sucks, though. Yeah. All right. I guess. Let's see here. I'll tell you everything that. that we... And I felt kind of bad because I've been kind of giving him shit. So. Uh... Uh, so fills with water even when turned off. Uh, so far, three broken appliances, three working, one questionable, and two of the ceiling fans don't work. Two of the ceiling fans? Oh, jeez and peeps, man. Yeah. So. That sucks. Which is kind of a weird one as well. Kind of like, well, I would have thought the electrician would have tested for one, but I guess maybe not the actual ceiling fan part. Maybe made sure it turned on because I think he bought his own stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He just hasn't hasn't had the best of luck. So, we're at 97%. I can't find... You know, it's that last part percent the pain in the ass, right? Well, I'm, I'm supposed to be finding uh, this cubicle wall has something, and I just can't see the highlighting for it. So I'm, like, doing a wide uh, nozzle to see if I can... Go along the edges. Uh, the other aspect. I am thinking like we're giving like a little crevice over there, a little crevice there. Oh, oh, there we go. That one's done. Now it's left. Oh, something just lit up for me. Oh. Washroom wall. That's right. This one. This wall also. Maybe I shouldn't have made the joke, but I asked him, what kind of wish.com shit have you been buying? <laughs> Clearance bullshit even buying there, Tal. Door hinges. I think if I like click on them, they they just like highlight right. You missed the door hinges there, Gigon. I did? Oops. I got him. Alright, well... I can't find it on this wall. You might have to come with your power washer to... get that wall there. Yeah, I'm cleaning the cubicle walls. I missed... Uh... Cisterns? What the fuck is a cistern? I think that's, uh... Spreader, you know, drain. Well, 
still one more cubicle wall. Which one's? Can't one. tell. It's the one that I was. It was the one I was working on in that other room. That what you said washroom? This wall right here. That's one that's shown up for me. I can't find it. Probably because it's uh. It's a grid. Well, that's a ceiling panel. Okay. Panel. It's interesting. Did I overlook that one? Oh, I got it. Clean now. Ceiling. You got it. Okay. Yep. Cistern pipes. Oh, these things are cisterns. The things above the toilets are cisterns. That pipe's done. That one's done. This... Done. There are cisterns out front, too. Uh, missing two more pipes. So there are cisterns out front? It, uh, by the um, urinals. In the middle of all the uh, urinals. Okay. Just fucking get it. Where the fuck is it? Damn it. I can't even see it. Top, huh? Hey, the fire. Hey, one more light switch somewhere. Cistern pipe, one more cistern pipe. So spray this one. That one's done. It's a fucking wall still. Cubicle walls. One more cubicle wall. Light switch. Lights. So one more light too. I got the light switch. I don't know which which cubicle wall it is. When I turned that on, I couldn't see which one flashed. Okay. Uh, so we have. One more light I have to go find. Not that light. Not that light. Not that light. Ah. Found the cubicle wall. Not that light. Hmm. Over, 
Oh, maybe it's down this hallway. Ah, oh, there we go. This light. Yeah, dirt. Yeah, I saw it. I thought it was that light, but I couldn't. There we go. Tile floor. Uh, we have two more tile floors. And toilet. How are you missing a toilet? Renal spreaders. Washroom walls. Tile floors, okay. Oh, this tile floor needs to be washed still. Ah, that one's done. Your little bitch is clean. Look at that dirt. There you are. Come on. Let's get clean. There you go. Okay. Tile floor, toilets, washroom walls. So which tile floor still needs to be cleaned? Oh, this tile floor, okay. This lighting makes it hard to see. Oh. This lighting kind of sucks. Almost there, where's he at? Somewhere. Ah, we did it! Get it, get it, get it, go! Oh, jeez, Louise! I got four hundred fifty. Oh, I currently have four hundred fifty dollars. How much money did I get for that? I don't know. Uh. Messy bathroom. Let's see. It shows me. I got. Uh, no money? Doesn't usually show me. Details. details. Yeah, it showed you in the details. Okay, so I earned $162 for that job. Yeah. Probably because I played it before. You make more if I think it was a job. Well, it's an interesting game. If I wanted to kill some time, I guess I'd probably play it. Or if I just wanted to like have something to mindlessly do, rather than yeah. listen, listening to something or watching something. Sorry, I closed it. That's fine. Uh, thanks for coming oh, hang out with us tonight, guys. Uh, we'll be uh, live again on Friday, so make sure you guys come on over for that. Play some more Skyrim during that time. Um, let's see. Do we have enough viewers to do a raid? Lead? Not over there. I don't want to refresh that. Up there, how about over here? Nope, not really. You know, we'll still send the raid on over to this dude here. Have yeah, you guys hang out for just me here? I'll send you guys on over to another streamer. Uh, we'll be live again on Friday, so make sure you guys come on over to that. We'll play some more Skyrim. Hope we make some more progress in that. Uh, yeah, no stream on this coming Sunday due to it being New Year's Eve. And then possibly no stream January 16th because I'll be traveling. Say what? 
Is my mumbling? <laughs> no, I am. All right. <laughs> I'm just being annoying. Just being annoying. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope uh, you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, why is this not working? There we go. This guy doesn't even need. I'm going to say cancel that one. Never mind. I was going to send you guys over to this dude, but he doesn't need viewers. He's got like. <laughs> shit, man. Motherfucker. That's the guy. That's the, that, that's the that's the bullshit right there. Motherfucking bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Motherfucking fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> oh. Just got here at the end. Uh, yes, thank you, Frey Lauren. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Scaring the bejeebus out of me with that. I was gonna, I was gonna come raid you, uh, Frey Lauren, but it doesn't look like you need much help with viewer count. You got yourself a good, good viewership there. So we can come over to this dude here, who's also playing some hunt. But I hope you have a great rest of your night there, Frey Frey. Ooh, I forgot. I didn't even post in your your uh, your Discord, Frey. But I did, I did uh, channel my inner uh, Master Chef, Frey Frey, over Christmas. So. Anywho, peace out, everyone. Have a great week. We'll catch you next time. Okay, I showed what's on.